kind of killing the cool a little bit. I know you go on other sites. I know you do other stuff outside of school. But I don't want to get arrested, and I want to keep my job. So this is what we're going to do, and it's close to what you like to do outside. I know lots of people, though, too, who use like civilization in, uh, in their classroom. My husband's actually a, a social studies teacher, and he's used segments of civilization in the classroom and had kids play it and just said, OK, you're just going to go in the corner and play civilization. OK, I want you to tell me about the Chinese, you know, and then he had a that went with it. That kind of killed the cool a little bit, but it was a hell of a lot better than sitting there and reading out of a textbook. So I think once you say, all right, listen, I'm going to go this far for you because I recognize that these are your skills and this is what you're best at, but you've got to come this far for me too. Have you seen how the uh, History Channel now has uh, histories, uh, has histories uh, mysteries and stuff like that, where they'll go back and show you like, how history was wrong, mm -hmm. and they'll go like this what really happened. Yeah. There was a, a neat picture how they said they found the tomb of Jesus. And then right on 4chan the next day was a picture of the Bible with the Mythbusters busted sign right over Right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It travels quick. You know? That's another great, you know, that's, that's a great use for in the classroom. You know, can you find sites like thememoryhole.org? Or uh, Robert Lewin has a book that he put out called Lies My Teacher Told Me. And there's all kinds of companion sites that go with that. Actually, learning a little bit better. Like, yeah. I know what is true because everybody is putting their input in. Right. Like, oh, this is not true. This is what really happened. Or you got it wrong. Here's what really happened. That's the negotiated space for democratic inf democratic in interaction that I was talking about before. I mean, it's also the principles of what happened in this dissertation apply to the teacher as well. If you want to draw a parallel between the site owner and a teacher that wants to put some of this stuff into the classroom, you can back to the idea of the virtual pub. You can go back to the idea of um, world creation and diversity. Um, and you can't necessarily make money in a classroom, but you can certainly achieve a, a certain amount of success with your students that could translate to, you know, like be parallel to a monetary success. You know, I don't necessarily care so much about making $25 off of you, but if I can get you to understand a certain concept, then that's my return. So there's also the, the, the parallel between people who run these kinds of sites and what their principles are and why they start them and why they keep them going and people who are teachers in classrooms who want to use those principles. New literacies teaching is what we call it. Anything else? My premature round of applause. You don't have to clap again. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate it. Oh. <laughs>